Tillage is a term that is used to describe the methods used to break up the ground ahead of planting a new crop. In this big tractor power video, I'm going to take a look at the variety of machines and the terminology used to describe them that are used to work up a seedbed to get ready to put that new crop in the ground. We'll take a look at everything from the heaviest forms of tillage that are aggressively working up the ground to the lightest forms of tillage. We'll look at all types of machines from plows to discs to vertical tillage, strip tillage, and even no-till. So I hope that you'll enjoy this video and find it informative. Moldboard plowing is the most aggressive form of tillage. The plow is the original tillage implement. It goes back thousands of years and a blade moves through the ground and flips over the surface of the soil leaving a completely clean seedbed. That moldboard turns over all the residue from the previous crop, any weeds or grasses that may have grown up and you have nothing but soil left on the surface. Plowing also leaves the field very rough and it requires other tillage passes to break up the chunks of dirt left by the plow to smooth it out to get a good seedbed. A mulch ripper or a chisel plow is a slightly less aggressive form of tillage than a moldboard plow. These implements use disc blades in the front to cut through residue and help break it down and then use parabolic shanks in the back of the machine that dig deep into the soil anywhere from 5 to 8 inches deep to break up compaction. These machines leave a lot of residue on the surface that help fight erosion while aggressively breaking up the soil underneath. A mulch ripper or a chisel plow will still need additional tillage passes following it to smooth out the soil to prepare the seedbed. A disc is a more universal tillage tool. It uses circular blades to cut through the soil and smooth out the seed bed. It can be used as a one-pass tillage system using those circular blades to cut through residue from the previous crop, knock down weeds or grasses, and prepare a smooth seed bed that's ready to plant into. It can also be used as a secondary tillage tool following a moldboard plow or a mulch ripper and it will cut through the chunks of dirt and soil and residue left by the plow or mulch ripper to smooth out the seed bed. A short disc works very much like a traditional disc using circular blades to cut through the soil and smooth out the seed bed. The short disc's advantage is it uses a compact frame that allows it to travel at higher speeds across the field. It also traditionally has some sort of packing unit in the back that helps firm up the seed bed all in one pass. 
This machine can travel anywhere from 8 to 10 miles per hour plus. A traditional disc usually will work anywhere from 3 to 6 miles per hour in the field. The short disc definitely has the advantage in getting the seedbed ready in a timely manner over a traditional disc. A field cultivator is another machine that can be used as a one-pass tillage tool to prepare the seedbed or as a secondary tillage machine to smooth out the ground behind a moldboard plow, a mulch ripper, a chisel plow, or even a disc. A field cultivator uses sweeps that vibrate as they run through the soil. They have a pointed tip that help break up the clods of earth and smooth out the soil they can dislodge any weeds or grasses that have grown on the surface of the field between tillage passes and can also help incorporate fertilizers into the soil. A field cultivator is one of the widest tillage implements that a farmer can purchase and many of them can have widths all the way up to 60 feet wide. A soil finisher combines the advantages of a disc and a field cultivator into one tillage tool. It can be used as a one-pass machine ahead of a planter, or it can be used as a secondary tillage tool, again behind a moldboard plow, a mulch ripper, chisel plow, or even a disc. The soil finisher uses its disc blades to cut through the residue and rough soil and then uses the sweeps like the field cultivator to further agitate and smooth out the soil and often there's a harrow attachment mounted on the back that further smooths out the seedbed. Vertical tillage is a one-pass tillage system that only works the very top layer of soil on the surface of the field. Many of the machines used in vertical tillage have wavy coulters that are used to cut and size the residue left from the previous crop while incorporating soil that is put over the top of that residue to help it decay and also smooth out the field. These machines also help fight compaction because they are not working deep under the soil. A moldboard plow, a mulch ripper, a chisel plow, a disc, and a field cultivator work deeper into the ground and they scrape through the field which leaves a layer of compaction at different depths. And when the new crop begins to grow, when it hits that compacted area, its roots are stunted and that reduces the overall yield of the crop when it's growing. Vertical tillage by only working the surface does not create this hard pan and can lead to a healthier crop. A chain disc harrow is a very effective tillage tool that can work wide and fast in the field. It works very much like a vertical tillage machine in that it only works the very top layer of soil, but uses disc blades to cut and size residue. Those blades are connected by a chain, which effectively allows this machine to move very quickly across the field and the operator never has to lift it out of the ground when the tractor is turning around. The machine leaves the soil very nicely worked up in a very light layer and it almost looks like a rototiller has been across the field when the chain disc harrow has completed its work. A harrow does very little to disturb or dig into the soil. It is dragged over the field to smooth out 
the field ahead of a planter. It can be used to knock out ruts or ridges left in the field from previous harvest machines, and it can also be used as a secondary tillage item to smooth out the ground where other primary tillage machines left chunks of dirt that might be a little too rough for a planter to plant the seeds into the soil. Strip tillage is used to work up the ground in the field only where the seed is going to be planted. This method is in between no-till and primary tillage. Shanks or discs are used on the strip tillage machine to thoroughly work up the ground and this combination of tillage items working up the ground just in that strip combine all the advantages of plowing, disking, field cultivating or harrowing in just a narrow space so the seedbed is nice and loose where the seed is going while the rest of the field is left untouched which helps fight erosion and reduces cost of operation in putting your crop into the ground. An aerator is a form of tillage that pokes holes into the field. It pulls plugs of soil out of the ground leaving an open hole that allows fertilizer and water to seep into the ground where the roots of the plants will be growing without disturbing the surface of the field leaving all the residue intact which helps fight erosion and increases soil health. No-till is the least aggressive method in preparing a seedbed because there is no preparation needed. The planter deposits the seed directly into the ground. The planter's row units will cut into the ground dropping the seed directly into the soil. The residue on the surface of the field is never disturbed and the soil underneath it is never worked up. No-till is a great savings to many farms because there are less machinery costs, there is less fuel costs, and less labor costs. No-till also helps fight erosion because all the residue and soil is left intact in the field. I hope that you've enjoyed this big tractor power video taking a look at all the different types of farm machines that are used to prepare a seed bed. There really is no right or wrong way to prepare a seed bed. The machines that are used are dependent on the type of soil in a region, the weather patterns, the growing season, and what works best for that farm to get the best possible yield out of the crop that they're raising. If you'd like to see more big farm machines like these in action, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines at work out in the field. As always, thank you for watching.